Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog and if you guys are new then welcome, my name is Jadine and I post videos between two and three times per week. So if you guys are new make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and um, yeah. <laughs> I just got home literally just got home but on my way here I felt so hungry and I had plans to go out to eat with one of my friends but she is pregnant and I'm pretty sure she's sleeping because normally when I message her she'll respond in like a with the quickness and she hasn't been responding and I've been texting her since 7 <clears throat> 45 ish and she has not replied and she's not like that so I know that she's sleeping so I'm not even gonna pressure her so I just bought a burger out the block and I, t I texted her and I was just like um hey so I know that you're sleeping but I went and bought a burger so we're gonna have to go out to eat another time so yeah we're gonna have to do that some other time maybe tomorrow night but I don't know so I think I'm gonna start looking at places that we can go to eat some good food tomorrow is um, Saturday, is it? Yeah, so tomorrow would be a good day to go and do that. Tomorrow I am off, which I love. You know, I don't think I appreciated the weekends off until I started getting the weekends off, which, listen, love that for me. Today they were talking about it and they were, like, they were just like, oh my gosh, you're so blessed. Um, not exactly. I don't think it's blessings. It's because I work every single Sunday when... Most of y'all don't, so it's okay if I get a Saturday off. And she was saying, oh, but you get Thursday, Friday, and Saturday off. Except for this week, of course, because today's Friday and I went to work. And I'm just like, yeah, and that's okay. That kind of makes up for the fact that I work every single Sunday. So I can't plan anything on a Sunday because I'm the one who works on Sundays. So whatever. Anyways, I am home and that burger was so good just now. I try not to eat fast food every day. I had lunch today, but today I was talking to um, my daughter and my sister on the phone at lunchtime, and the way how my body operates is when I warm my lunch up, I have to eat it there and then, or is it then and there, because if I leave it for a little bit, I will lose my appetite, so that happened because I was talking to her and I was invested in the conversation. I kind of lost my appetite while I was doing that, so I had to just leave. Right now, I have the, the plate on here with like my curry chicken and stuff instead of it. So, I need to throw that out because I don't think that I'm going to eat that again. And especially because I just had this huge burger. And I'm so sorry. I know I'm, I'm hungry. I know that I was going to go out to eat with my friend today. So, I wasn't trying to pack the food on myself either. And I did eat lunch early. So, I'd be hungry around this time. But because I didn't eat the food and I didn't really eat anything else... I was hungry because I ate that whole burger off and normally when I buy that one, I don't necessarily eat it off. I always have something left over and I end up throwing it away or something like that. Anyways, I'm just here relaxing. I think I'm going to like take my shirt off and stuff like that. And I'm going to chill on the couch for a little bit and like watch um, a little bit of TV because I don't really have anything else to do. Tomorrow I should be meal prepping and all that good stuff. But tomorrow's another day and tomorrow definitely speaks for itself so when that time comes we'll see what happens i really need to text my husband and remind him um to buy water before he comes home he was supposed to buy it at work today and i don't know if he buy if he bought it because this morning he asked me to remind him at two o'clock and i'm just like no you have one job buy the water remember anyways so i need to go message him to see how that's going and then i'm gonna chill on the couch i had mentioned in a previous vlog that I was tired of the color that my hair had, so I dyed it black, and geez louise, I'm not sure if I love it, because the girl told me that, you know, the jet black dye and the natural black is pretty much the same, it's all gonna come out just jet black, so I bought the jet black when I had the natural black initially, so now I'm kind of like, mm, I, I don't know if I like this, because Jesus, it's so black, also, I have two products that I've been using in my hair every now and then and I wanted to oh I feel like my black hair makes my skin look so good anyways I had two products I was testing out in my hair on my curls and you know to see which one I like more because I don't like when my curls are crunchy 
you know so this is the natural curl pattern of my hair and I actually do like this product however every time I try to get it back it is not there and it's being sold on Amazon for so much more so I'm just like listen so I'm probably gonna go on the Aura's website to see what is up but that is it for right now I think I, 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 I talked enough for tonight so um I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow because I don't really have anything else planned. Maybe a little bit later I'll drink like a little bit of wine. And so I don't know yet. It's really, Wine is really a mood thing for me and I'm not sure what mood I'm in just yet because this food has not even settled yet. So yeah. Guys, I bought this new phone case today too. And I think that it's super cute. I was on the avenue and I saw a guy selling phone cases and I was there for like five minutes before I decided that I wanted this on and I think it's so cute even though it doesn't have the thing on the back that I like to put my finger through I think I might have an extra one or I'm gonna buy because he had them selling today and man's had those things selling for five dollars for one and I think I paid five dollars for like a pack with five on Amazon so I'm gonna buy it on Amazon and I think I still might add it on here if it feels annoying without it because I'm used to having the little round thing on the back for so long so I'm pretty sure that now that I don't have it on there, it's going to be a little bit annoying or maybe it will just take some getting used to. And for like when I'm in the shower and stuff like that, because I like to hook my phone up on a thing that I have in the shower when I'm in there so I can watch what I'm watching still. So I might end up putting it on there, but I'm definitely going to buy it on Amazon. And I paid $15 for this case and normally I don't go above $10 or $12 on cases, but I thought this case was really, really cute. And this added accessory, I'm like, um, yeah, maybe it's worth the extra five dollars so i bought it and i think it's so cute and then afterwards my coworker was telling me that you know her and the guy are good friends so if i see anything else over there that i want i need to just take the picture <clears throat> and give her ten dollars and she'll be able to get it for ten dollars for me so i'll be coming through with all the types of new cases this is the one thing that i love like that um when it pertains to like my phone like i love um gadgets and everything like cameras computers well not computers just macbook and like you know all those things i really really like and i'm really really into but when it comes to my phone i always get a new phone too when the phones come out but when it comes to my phone the one thing that i'll buy more than one of is phone cases and because i like them like that i don't buy them from like the t-mobile store so because they sell those for 40 dollars and i'm just like why am i for 40 dollars when i can get it for like ten dollars on amazon but i've been searching cute iphone 11 pro max cases on amazon and i haven't seen anything like this so um this was definitely a good purchase because it's super cute anyways i'm gone for real this time hi guys so um it's like midday at this point i've been in bed all day because i just feel so lazy today and so sluggish and i've just been laying here i did a wake up I what am I saying I did get up earlier and like make myself some breakfast and took something out to cook clean up the kitchen and stuff like that but for the most part I feel so sluggish and so tired I think it may have something to do with the fact that last night I stayed up and watched good girls until so late like 4 a.m or so and that was such a bad idea so now it's like I'm so tired trying to catch up on sleep and I woke up at 10 10 a.m which is not terrible you know, like 10.30 is okay time. And I think I did go back to sleep. Or like I woke up earlier and then I went back to sleep afterwards. And then woke up again at 10. Can't even remember at this point. But I don't know. I don't necessarily feel motivated to be up and about today, to be honest. So maybe I won't. Maybe today is going to just be that day where I'm laying in pajamas. And hopefully later on I get the motivation to get up and cook something. Oh, I put sweet potatoes inside of the oven so that's that i don't feel I, I don't feel like it last night it ended up happening too that it's not that my friend was sleeping or anything it's just that she was coming from missouri and so she was her flight was like 12 o'clock in the day however it was delayed and she didn't end up leaving until like six o'clock she said because of like the weather so her leaving at six o'clock nine o'clock what she like facetimed me when she landed in south carolina and still had like a connecting flight and i'm just like damn you're not gonna get back here anytime soon and she worked this morning so i was just walking her through the fact that she's gonna have to just go home pack her bag for work shower and go to sleep 
this morning she called me and she was just like, man, I could barely wake up this morning. I literally am in an Uber right now. So she had to take an Uber, which is so annoying for her. But I guess, you know, convenience that way she don't have to sit like on the train being annoyed or have to spend all that time on the train because, you know, the Uber would be a little bit quicker. So there was that. So that is the reason why last night she was not responding to me and we didn't go out. But to be honest, when I was coming home last night and I realized how cold it was outside, I'm like, God damn it. I don't think I want to come back out in this. And I feel like that is always my problem in the wintertime. Like, it just be so cold outside where once you come in, you don't want to go back out for anything at all. So that was my struggle then. So that was more annoying than anything else because it was just super cold and I just couldn't, I just couldn't, you know. If I, last week when I went out, I was already home, so I was inside all day. So it didn't take that much for me to like get dressed and go out and stuff like that. And it was a really, really good time too. And I feel like if she had come back last night, I would have gone out. But thank God she didn't because it was cold outside. Anyways, I think this is where I'm going to end today's vlog because I don't want to drag you guys through a super boring vlog because I don't have anything planned to do or I'm going to just be laying in bed and stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.